Today on the channel, from the Star Wars Black series, Rio Durant. Welcome everyone, Kyle here as we continue our daily Star Wars unboxings in 2021. And today we're back into the Black Series. We're jumping all around Power of the Force, Legacy, Power of the Jedi, Black Series, the Vintage Collection. We're going to be all over the map on Star Wars toys in 2021, but we're back to the Black Series today. And we've got number 77 from the Han Solo, or just Solo movie, Rio Durant. But for all your modern day Black Series needs, make sure you hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. So Rio Durant, I would have to be lying to you if I said he was a character I have ingrained in my head like a young Ewok or an Admiral Akbar. Not quite the case. I saw Solo once in the theaters. I need to see it again. It's on my to-do list to watch again. I barely remember any of the movie, but I tell you what, this four-legged little guy stole my heart. That's what happens with these little aliens that are really weird and creepy and have multiple limbs. Uh, I like my wrestling figures. I like masked wrestlers, big wrestlers, face-painted wrestlers, goofy characters. Hey, for my aliens in Star Wars, you got four limbs, you're little or you're really big, count me in, I'm a buyer. And that's what I did. I finally played the long game on this Rio Durant, got him for a half price, basically, of a normal Black Series figure. And it was time to pull the trigger. Like I said, I saw Solo once. I need to see it again. I need to revisit. I've got to clean up and pick up a few extra characters, too, from the Solo movie I'm still missing. Shouldn't be very hard. Those are pretty cheap on the secondary market, for the most part. But uh, let's take a look today, like I said, at Rio Durant. We'll take a look at the packaging, we'll uh, unbox him, talk about it, and wrap up the whole show with that. So there he is. Traditional Black Series packaging back in the day. It seems ancient at this point when this was not uh, away until about maybe six months ago, even maybe before that. I don't know. Time I can't figure out anymore. But we had this not too long ago, this type of packaging, but it seems very dated compared to the new incredible packaging we're getting right now. Got the little glamour shot there, a little name, a little window box with the character, Star Wars Black Series there. This is a figure that was on the pegs for a long time. I don't know if I saw it go to clearance. It probably did. I was just not buying it. I was passing on it at the time. And, you know, time changes. Sometimes you go back and pick some of these things up. It's always great when you can pick these things up at a cheaper price. Rio Durant on the side. Got the old school 77 logo. 77 logo. 77 number right there. Uh, I really do like the mural. I would love to see the Solo. I, I guess I wouldn't like to see the Solo figures re-released, but it'd be cool to have a Solo mural. It would have been cool at the time. Not going to happen. There's that same glamour shot. You got the 77 up top, Star Wars Black Series. Some warnings and some logos down below, and then we got a little blurb. Let's read that blurb. Let's see what it says about our boy Rio. His name was Rio, and uh, some said he danced across the sand as well, uh, very much like the AEW Rio. This one, no different. Uh, Rio Durant has carried out dangerous operations alongside the scoundrel Tobias Beckett. Uh, I believe that is Woody Harrelson's character. I am missing that one. I was playing the long game forever. Uh, I still need to pick up the uh, Woody Harrelson Black Series figure. Uh, the good-natured Ardrinian pilot is up for any challenge, not unlike his young counterpart Han Solo. I remember it being a, kind of a lovable little guy, I believe, if I remember right in the Solo movies. I think he does die, spoiler alert, you know. Sad times for old Rio. Uh, he'll be buried upon the sand instead of uh, dancing across the sand. But that's it for the packaging. Let's open him up. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what all the fuss is about, as they say. Got the red background there. See you later. Okay. Very cool. I love, you guys, I, I said it at the top, I love these kind of alien characters. There he is. Going to have to fit him in a little solo display one of these days. I got a lot of work to do. It's a little bit overwhelming at this point. I was in my toy room uh, looking, trying to map out the process of what my plan is. Work your plan. Don't let the plan work you or vice versa. I don't know. But we're trying to figure out, trying to map it all out, trying to figure out how to do this. And it's uh, pretty overwhelming. Uh, it's like, what do you do? You got to move stuff. Things got to move around. But it'll be a cool display when it's done. Most of my displays, I feel, at least for me, and that's all that matters at the end of the day, as long as I'm happy, I guess. So, uh, But hopefully my display will be really cool, and I'll show you guys. We'll do a tour of that when that day comes. But, I mean, it's going to be all of a year, maybe even longer, until I get this all done. But we'll see. Maybe uh, it'll be faster. 
But uh, very cool. He comes with a blaster. Let's pop him out. Let's see what's going on here. Not buckled in in any way. There it is. See you later. We've got goggles. This guy's flight goggles. Very cool accessory there. He's got a gun, a different gun. I don't think we've seen this gun in the past. Not the coolest gun, but still a gun. And I love characters with four arms. Something about extra arms is just really cool on a figure. Uh, a little hard on the joints here. I don't want to break anything. I mean, I don't know what this guy really is. Is he kind of part monkey? Kind of Boy, the arms don't really move very well. I think I might actually have to heat these up because they are not... That one moved. But he does have four arms, and all four arms are like any arm. They can move up and down, side to side, all that kind of fun stuff. So it is a cool feature. I guess this isn't really a feature when that's what the character is, but he definitely looks better with his goggles on top of his head. He's kind of got like monkey-type feet. I would say he's somewhere involved in the monkey-type race somewhere along the line. He's got a little chimpanzee blood in him, I think. But man, these joints are very tough. But better hard joints than loose, I always say, as long as they don't break. But there's nothing worse than loose joints out of the package. Uh, but very solid. Very solid. He's got another blaster on his holster right here. I think that is kind of cool. He's got his little, uh, I don't even know what they call this pack around his waist. Or around his chest and all that area. A lot of fighter pilots have that. I don't know if it has an official name to it. Um, but I like this. Like I said, it doesn't take a lot for me to get excited about figures like this. I'm actually really surprised at myself I didn't pull the $20 card and buy this right when it came out. Because this is, like I said, a figure that I'd be into and in, into. Uh, I love the quirky aliens. I love the forearms. I love the small characters. I love different. Things that are different and strange, uh, especially in the Star Wars figures, I'm all in for. Uh, so, very happy to get this now. i got to figure out the best way to pose him and how to pose him. I'm not sure exactly... The Rio fits on a ringside collectible stand. Uh, you guys know ringside collectibles. Buy your stands. Definitely cheap. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. But will he fit? It doesn't look like he will fit. He's got extra small. Oh, maybe. I think he fits. It's a little bit of work. I think you got to push him in there pretty good. But he will fit. No, he will not fit. He will not. Ringside stand does not work in this case for a little Rio. Um, so there it is. But yeah, a solid figure. I'm glad I picked this one up finally. Even better when it's $10. Uh, nothing like picking up a figure for $10. It used to cost $20. Uh, I'm okay with that. I'll do that all day long. Tobias Beckett, I'm coming for you next. That's the next one i got to find. But Rio's got a good home now. You tell me in the comments, did you pick up any of the Solo movie figures? Man, those things were all clearanced out, but I don't remember seeing this one on clearance. So I don't know if he was a little hotter to get or what. Uh, I recommend uh, picking up, or I'm mad at myself for not picking up uh, the Tobias Beckett. But I'll uh, try to write that wrong here maybe in the next couple of weeks. Gotta get a deal. You know how it goes. So leave me a comment, your thoughts on the Black Series and uh, all that jazz and don't forget to like the channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel got new videos every single day including a 2021 every single day a bonus star wars unboxing can i do it can i be held accountable can i make sure i do it i think i'll be able to do it but you guys follow along and let me know so there you have it for rio we're gonna both dance across the sand like a young duran duran and until next time i'll see you guys all real soon